Hello everyone. Welcome to Taekwondo's DevOps YouTube channel. Learn DevOps, do wonders. Now I am explaining how to create a Maven project by using Eclipse IDE. So first thing is to create a Maven project in Eclipse IDE. We have to install Eclipse IDE in Windows machine. So if you want to know how to install Eclipse IDE, please check my previous video to install the Eclipse IDE. So now I am going to open my Eclipse IDE, Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So Eclipse IDE we are going to use to create a Maven project or Java applications or any other Java projects as well we can use it. See here. So this is my Eclipse workspace, Eclipse IDE. So first you have to go to new Java projects or Maven projects, whatever the projects you are going to create, that one you have to select. So now I am creating Maven projects, click on Maven project. If you want to create a simple project without archetype selection, then you can select this one. Now I am using by archetype selection. And default workspace location already I have given. That's why I'm selecting that. And click on next. Here catalogs. I'm selecting all the catalogs. And for archetype selection, we have to search for Maven archetype. See here. We have multiple Maven archetype that is plugin, plugin site, this kind of. So you can give web app. I am using web app. So Maven archetype web app. So here while creating a Maven projects, if you click on new and Java Maven projects selecting, if you are using old version of IDE, then you have to go to projects and you have to select here maven so this one you can select here but if you are using latest version then directly you can select from the file new maven project okay click on next search for maven archetype web app so I am selecting the web app because I am creating a web application. So include snapshot archetypes as well. I don't want to include. I will unclick and click on next. So it will ask for the group ID. Group ID is nothing but what is the domain you want to. So you have to give com dot. I am going to give tech wonders devops com dot tech wonders devops and the artifact id is nothing but your application name my web app okay and this one you can give the snapshot by default it will be 0 .0 0.0.1 if you want to give the any other version then you can choose you have to create it first and packages by default it will take it as a com dot that is group id dot artifact id that is project name okay now click on finish once you click on finish it will download all the packages required for this particular application see it is getting from the Java that is I have already installed in the program files Java JDK 23 bin inside from bin it is going to take it all the required packages and libraries so it is asking for these are the uh, details which I have given uh, downloaded from the central repository that is Maven central repository okay and I am going to give SRO I am selecting yes and entering so build is successful see here 
Maven web app is created with the name of com.techwonders devops web app. So, projects you can see here. Okay, see, this is my first application which I have created. Now I have created my web app. So, here you have to click on these are the directory structure here you can see source main resources we have if you click on this one it's going to show all the files directories whatever we have i want dependency j unit and source file is source directory this is a index.jsp so we have created sample application that's why it is only hello world if you want to change it anything you can just click on this welcome to Tech Wonders DevOps YouTube channel. You can give and click on save here. See, this is a pom.xml file and this is a target directory. Okay, now see this particular one i am going to run it again by using run as we have to click on pom.xml file run as maven build clean install these are all the maven goals if you can click on maven build it will build the application you can go here give the package as a goal run see it will run and it is created a web application that is my web app, web app dot war so it will be created under the target directory so you can go here so where my here you can copy this one till target it will be present here click on this one see my web app eclipse workspace under the project name under that one target directory this is the my web app dot var so this one we can deploy to any container registries or we can deploy into the web application servers that is tomcat we can deploy into the tomcat by using tomcat for that one we can use manual deployment or we can use the jenkins as a cacd that is how we can create a sample web application by using the Eclipse IDE along with Maven. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my Tech Wonders DevOps channel for more DevOps AWS videos.